All right, hi guys. We're gonna do a quick strut job on a 2010 Camaro. And it's a real, real easy job to do. And um, so we got two bolts here for the 15 16 bolts um, that go through for the spindle hub. And um, we're gonna take these off. This is just a little rubber boot here that we can peel this out for your ABS cable. And um, we'll just kick that to the side. And on this side, we have a 10 millimeter I'm gonna put some penetrating oil on all of this stuff here. And um, so over here we have a 10 millimeter. We just got our little gear wrench here that we're using over here. I'm gonna take this, take this one off. The nut is welded to the, to the strut, so you don't have to worry about putting another wrench on it. Take this off. And once we get everything off, we're going to never seize it. Now, the car's got, you know, 110,000 miles on it. Um, it's in really nice condition. But, you know, we decided to go ahead and change out the um, links, stabilize the links. So we have, we have one here we're lubricating. So I don't have to take the top of the link off because it's going to come with the strut. But we're going to take the bottom one off here. It's a 15 millimeter down here. And I use the swivel socket um, in my impact on to pop it off. And um, it came right off the, you know, so first one did. So let's see how this one comes apart. Grips on it, squeeze it. All right. Okay, we got that one off. And like I said, the other side we don't have to disconnect because we are um, leaving it on the strut. Because we're replacing it. I'll get my socket off this thing. There we go. Okay. We've got our 10 millimeter disconnected. And we have our brake line here that we're just going to pull down out because we already took the nut off of that. I'm going to tuck that right up out of the way here. And we have these two bolts left. And we have the top nut left. But when you take this down, this whole thing is going to want to fall down. So what we did was we took a bungee cord and we went from the hole up here on the frame and we went down around. And we pulled some slack here and we just hooked into the stabilizer link on the arm, the sway bar, I should say. So this thing is not going to just come dropping down on us. So we're going to take these two 15, 16 bolts out now. There's no alignment on this thing at all. As far as we're not going to change the alignment, that they're solid holes. So you have to do this in your driveway, guys. You don't have to worry about a wheel alignment. We're not changing anything on your alignment. And what we had with this, when we jack up the car to check the front end, we put the tire underneath, we put the bar underneath the tire, and the strut mount collapsed on it, so the whole thing was moving up and down, and the customer heard like a banging noise. And that's why we're going in and changing them out. You know, it's weird, we checked this about a week ago, and um, we could get the strut mount to you know, completely move up and down. Well, it's in a different position right now, and we tried to, we wanted to show you guys that this morning, and um, we couldn't get it to do it again. But last week, we were turning the wheel on the lift, and the whole thing just dropped down. And then we lowered it down, put the bar under it, and you could see the whole mount moving up and down. So something happened inside the mount today that we can't see and we couldn't get it to you know move up and down today but we know it's bad because the banging noise is still there so when the customer hits a you know a pothole or something it just rattles wicked so 
Um, we're doing the links and we're doing the struts. So, all right, so we got this. Okay, so now when we pull this back, this thing is gonna wanna just drop, okay? So the bungee cord's holding it up for us now. And we have our stabilizer link that's floating right here. So we're gonna lower this whole thing down into the pocket. This is gonna lower into the pocket and we're gonna pull the strut out like this and make sure you don't hit your fender. So let's lower the car down now. So what we found out so far is we did the other side first. And look at the depth of the stud sticking up here for the, for the strut, okay? When we put the other strut in, the new strut, the stud does not stick up enough because they give you a real thick nut. So what we're doing here is, here is the, here's the nut in the, the new mouth that they give you. Okay, so they gave us this nut that came with the strut. The threads are the same, but look how thick this nut compared to the other one is. So when we put this one on the other side, we were not able to put the black cap on because there's nothing for it to hold on to. So the customer decided he wanted to use the original nut. Threads weren't damaged at all. Just gotta make sure your threads aren't damaged. Um, and then we'll be able to put this cap, which will lock back on and, and clip down. And that's what he wanted to do. Otherwise, you'll just see the, the nuts sitting out there and you know people would know that the struts were changed. So. Um, he decided to go this route. All right, so we're gonna lower this, we're gonna lower this um, mount down here now. And this one is the 15 16 And our strut just dropped down. All right, so we got our strut to drop down. And we're going to lift it up very slowly and pull it out with the link on it. And we didn't have to screw with the link. Now these, these struts are, there's a left and a right. So we got our new one here and we got our mount. And when we sit this thing up in place, you know, Tony's going to catch this mount for me as I pull this up into place and then we can rotate this into any spot that we want. But Something in the old strut inside this mount collapsed. You really can't see it unless you were to take it apart. So, um, so that's what we got. So, all right, I'm going to feed this up in place, and Tony's going to try and catch this nut for me. It kind of sucks to do with just one person. Catch that net. Yep. There you go. All right. All right. Let's put it up and reconnect everything. Line up the strut with the spindle here. Get this in place. Seeds on our bolts like we always do. Don't need a lot, just get a little on there for your threads. We're going to pull this thing down, line up that hole. Okay. Okay. Got that in there. We're not gonna put this on yet because we gotta get our nuts caught. These are 15 sixteenths. I'm gonna tighten these down. Rub a line now. We 
can just slide this, you know, back into the groove here. Okay, that's back in place. And we have our brake line here. We're gonna pop up, this goes in the back side here. And we have our 10 millimeter hat bolt, I should say, and we're gonna put some never seats on these threads. Tighten this up with the gear wrench. This is a nice job you can do in your driveway. Save yourself a few bucks. And after we tighten this up, we're going to take our bungee cord off and we're going to get our stabilizer link put in place. We'll put a little never seize on the threads. There is a right and a left link on this vehicle as well as the struts. Um, pull that off. Um, you just don't, you should really use a bungee cord because this thing is just going to want to spring all over the place. What it's going to do is going to put pressure on your ABS sensor and you don't want that to break. So you want to make sure this thing is supported um, when you disconnect it. And um, so we have our stabilizer link over here. We got some nevices on that. And the link goes through, through one end down here, and then it goes through up here. So we hook this end on up here first. And we got, the nuts were originally 15 um, millimeter, now they're 17s. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pry bar and we're gonna pry down on the suspension a little bit to get this one to fall into place. So I just have a little pry bar here and we're gonna pry down on the bar so that I can line this up. Okay, we get that in place. The new nuts are 17s are a little bigger than the old ones. Um, and we're gonna tighten these up right now. And we, on the bottom one, you still need the swivel adapter we get that with the 17. Okay, that's it for that one. Tighten this top one up here. Okay, that one's tight. All right. So now we've got our big bolts tight, ABS sensor cable secured. We have our brake line secured. Um, stabilized link is all secured and never seized. We got a uh, bungee cord off of it. We're gonna lower it down. We're gonna tighten the top nut on it and we'll put that cap back on. Okay, so we have our 15 16 socket on the factory nut and we're gonna tighten this down check the threads, the threads are mint, so we're good. Now the stud is sticking up enough so we can take the cap and lock the cap on. And that's what the customer wanted, he wanted to see the cap. Otherwise, you were just gonna see the nut. This doesn't really look that bad, don't get me wrong, but um, you know, whatever the customer wants. So if this is my own car, I think I'd rather have it looking like this too, so. so that is the end of this strut job. We'll go ahead. We already did the other side, so we had everything laid out for you guys. But um, this job is going to take you in the driveway probably an hour and a half, maybe a little bit longer if you have a little problem with the links. But the impact gun made all the difference on popping the links off and squeezing them with vice grips. But really easy job to do and um, save yourself some money.